Scott Smith at Rusnak BMW in Southern California. We got our first 2016 BMW 340 sedan um, with the M Sport package. So definitely wanted to show you this. Been trying to shoot it for a few days here, but this is uh, in our mineral gray metallic with our black oyster highlighted interior. I want to show you that, something new for the 16s. Now right off the bat, this one's pretty loaded. We do have the M Sport and we do have the track handling package on it, but it has been upgraded from the 18 inch wheels to the 19 inch wheels. Uh, you're going to get a variable sport steering with that track handling packet, which is really awesome, um, especially in the canyons or slow driving. You know, less turn of the wheel, you get more of a degree out of the um, turn of the, of the wheels. So from the steering wheel to the wheel, very nice, very responsive, especially up in the canyons. Kind of like our older sport steering we used to have back on the 5 Series. And first came out with the uh, sport packages back in 04, 05 was a lot of fun to drive at the training events that we had so very fun to get that track handling package and take it up into the canyons okay guys so right off the bat as you can see we've got our M Sport custom front bumper now this is the 340 so it does come standard with your LED headlights um, and you've got your LED running lights too, daylight running lights. So really nice signature look now. Something definitely different from last year. This one was ordered with the black kidney grills. So really nice aggressive look. Let's go ahead and head to the back. Now um, also what you get with that track handling package is you're going to get the, uh, the uh, performance, the M brakes. So the upgraded M Sport brakes which can be four piston up front, two piston in the back. A very nice feel in the pedal from what I've heard. Just a nice little touch of performance, especially if you're out having fun. So let's get a little rev time. Not too bad. Some nice bubbling there from the, uh, from the exhaust. Let's go ahead. We're going to go underneath the hood now, show you underneath there. This is a twin scroll single turbo three liter inline six. It's called the B58 is the code for this engine now. And it's going to be 320 in horse. Nice. And 330 in um, foot pounds of torque. Thanks, Johnson. And you're going to have a uh, 320 horsepower, 5,500 RPMs. And you've got the 330 in torque hitting you at uh, 1,380 of, uh, of, excuse me, um, RPMs. So sorry about that. Horsepower is going to be at 15, 5,500 RPMs. Got a little stumble there. So you can see we've got a nice new cover on the engine here. Just some nice styling. BMW stepping it up. Let's go ahead and close this up. Right, and you can see we've got the shadow line exterior uh, around the windows here. They've made a lot of stuff standard on this car, guys. Let me do a walk around and show you. Oh, you know what? You know what I'm going to do right now? Let me turn on the rear lights for you because they upgraded those for us. Let's just hit the hazard button. So, really nice touch. I know I got a couple other videos out there with um, going down in the basement. One thing I like too with the blinker is now it comes across here. So it's really nice touch. You know, in the previous year, one of my other videos, you've got the bulb and this just blinks for the side blinker. So really nice touch. But yeah, check out those other videos where I did it down where it was less lighting, you know, glows a little bit more. But what a really nice touch. All right, let's go in the back seat, show you some of the highlights. It does have the Harman Kardon sound system standard, so you can done they've done the signature gray covering to the uh, to the speakers. This one's got your Oyster highlights, so here's some of your contrast stitching that comes with that. You can see it along the side of the seat. Also, nice little highlight finishes here in this kind of pearlescent, kind of a chrome accent around the uh, the um, air conditioning and as you can see you can adjust it a little bit too so to make it a little bit warmer in the winter time cooler in the summer got your power source back there cup holders in the rear armrest there is seating for five whoops they've also upgraded the seat belt attachments for children 
from. Also, we've got the anthracite headliner. That's going to be standard. Sports seats are going to be standard. Let's go ahead and show you the trunk. 12 cubic feet of storage here in the trunk. Now, this one's been upgraded to the 19-inch uh, wheels, and it has the run-flat tires. So you'll see we'll have additional storage underneath the floor. Run flat so you can go up to 50 miles per hour for 50 miles so you can get somewhere safe and replace them. Also, you can see the 40, 20, 40 split seat standard. Also, batteries back here for better balancing. They store it back here for you. Let me also go over, well, I'll go over the list when I get inside. Let's touch on the sticker here. So as you can see, 2016, you can see the base price there has gone up a couple grand almost since last year, but I'll go over the laundry list of great items that BMW has made standard now for you. You guys can pause this anytime you want if you just want to go over the details. That you can see down here, this is Probably one of the most popular equipped setups we have for the 340. I think it's a just over 58,000 here for US dollars. One thing to mention too, there's your gas mileage, 22 and 33 with an average of 26. Location of assembly, Munich, Germany. One thing to mention too, the zero to 60 on this guys is um, 4.8 through BMW, which the previous year, whoops, there we go. The previous year was 5.1 through BMW on the 335. And I've had uh, multiple 335 models in the past. Awesome combination of acceleration and the size and balance of this car. So I can't wait to really get out and try one of these when we get one that's properly broken in. So. It's definitely going to be a lot of fun. Let's turn off the hazards. Let me go over that list of stuff that we've upgraded in this car too. So we do have the satellite radio included with a year's worth of service. So that's going to be included in the standard car. Comfort access, that's complete keyless entry. So that way the key can just stay in your purse or your pocket. Don't have to pull it out, just grab the door handle, open the car up touch the door handle when you're leaving to lock the vehicle also then you can kick open the trunk if your hands are full so you do have that feature with the comfort access uh, lumbar support in the front two seats is included the sport line that we had last year for um, an additional cost for styling upgrades um, most of that package is now standard LED headlights uh, Harman Kardon surround sound system 16 speakers 600 watts Sport Auto Trans Mission with the paddle shifters. Now that's going to be standard. LED fog lights, sport seats, anthracite headliner, and the alarm system is all standard now. So you definitely have thousands of dollars worth of items added to this car for less than 2000 So it's one thing I've really enjoyed working for BMW for a long time, for over 16 years now, is that if they do have to raise um, the base price, they will give you a lot of value and a lot of cool items for doing that. So um, I think these will definitely be things that people will uh, appreciate. Also, we got the new fine line anthracite wood trim is standard. There's your glove box, definitely a lot of space. But you can see all the nice finishes they've done. Also, one thing with the trim here now, it runs all the way across through the doors, all the way back. So same type of trim that you'll have on the dash will run through the doors. The anthracite headliner gives it that nice sporty trim. Now with the seat here, with the black, with the oyster highlights, definitely you can see it in the stitching. But if you look down the inside here, you've also got some oyster piping. So just a nice touch for the 16s. We do have our extender here, so nice for a little better hamstring support. Long drives. You've also, with your sport seats, you've got the width adjustment too, so you can have more support. Long drives by moving both the side bolsterings in or out. Also, the key now has the, what we used to have last year, um, was the coloring on there for the Sport Liner M Sport? We had um, 
now you get that standard now with the bigger engine so really nice touch also do have a little storage storage shelf here basically no cover anymore also the chargers have been moved out so it's easier if you do have larger items to plug in instead of having it tucked down here last year and then we've got the sliding cover for the cup holders it's one thing with bmw over the decades they definitely like to hide the cup holders you know they don't want you drinking while you're driving they want you to enjoy the car so it's one thing i've always seen and um, something they've always believed in is we don't want you to see any cup holders at all just have fun driving also over here on the door They've also put a place where you can put a water bottle at 45 degrees, so they've even stepped up to the American demand of having multiple drinks in your car. You've got your great uh, dead pedal, left a rest spot here for, for that left foot, really nice styling. Also, you've got your highlights here, guys, with the buttons. They've done that for the 16s. Thank goodness, sorry about that, left the hazards on. Let's put the lights to automatic. But really like that M Sport steering wheel. I know you've heard it from me before, but the Napa leather, it's thicker. Easier to see the gauges, a lot more of an open steering wheel. Now the navigation unit, our iDrive system has been upgraded to new hardware. Uh, faster startup for the nav and also the uh, voice command system. Also it has over the air updates for our system so that's nice instead of having to maybe do your own physical update or having it brought into service during servicing and having an update. Now we've also, let me uh, get the sun from coming in here. Also here guys we do have high gloss black, uh, black trim across here all the way through. Instead of more of a matte finish we've had in the past also a pearlescent chrome finish that you'll see around here so it just gives it a little bit more of an eye-catching design also the um, screen here for your um, air conditioning climate control has gone to the white numbering during the day and then at dead of night headlights are on and stuff it will go back to the orange so it's not going to be as bright and distracting we still have our favorite shortcut buttons, one through eight, and those will come across the top of the screen there, and it'll show you what you have set on there. So it's really nice. You can have shortcuts, you can have phone numbers, um, you can have addresses, you know, in case you're in the, you know, the middle of, the, of a valley, trying to figure out which freeway to get back home, just push it, and it'll do it the quickest way if you have it set that way. Also, you've got your controls here on the steering wheel, plus, minus, voice command. Um, you've also got the phone, cruise control, dynamic cruise control. Also, and this one does have the heads-up display, which I know right now is pretty hard to see through the camera. And you've got the compass up in the mirror. You've got your garage door openers, easy to get to. And then you've got your 8-speed sport automatic transmission. A couple things to show you here. This is the release button right here. A lot of clients start pulling, yanking, trying to figure out what to do with this controller here. So just wanted to mention, hold that in. Goes to drive. Also, the indicator is going to be right up here. There's your sport, I mean your drive, your transmission indicator. Also, we've got this in sport right now, which is right here. One thing I wanted to show you on that, I'll get back to the transmission in just a second. Let's go on up, now I go up to sport here. As you can um, see, we'll get down to the settings, configure. This way you can do drivetrain and the chassis drivetrain or just chassis so depending on how you want that button to be suspension or drivetrain or both so it's nice depending on where you're gonna be driving and what you want to do they'll let you customize it even further so right now I'm in drive if you want to go into reverse just hold that and go all the way forward and then the rear camera comes up and the sensors on the right as you can see we do have the green lines activated right now that's your direction of travel red is your your uh, maximum turn, get that closer, sorry. And then we also have the obstacle warnings indicator there, which you can see with that yellow box. Now you can get rid of those, you can get rid of the lines and just have a nice high res camera. On the bottom of the screen there, that's your actual bumper. So you run into something, you can actually see yourself do it. So, um, and then we've got the sensors over there. Let's go back to the main menu. 
As you can see, it's very easy and quick to get to things. The voice command system's amazing. That's one thing that I think a lot of people haven't utilized, but please, if you definitely plan on getting one of these, sit with the geniuses if you can. Really sit and really know how this car works and stuff, because these systems are fast, quick, and very easy to use. Also, that heads-up display uh, that we have up here, as you can see flashing right there, the Zero. Um, it has a lot of stuff that will come up there in the screen. I mean, you've got navigation directions, your phone history to pick a previous phone number to call, your presets or radio settings will come up there. So there's a lot. I have it on my current car and I've had it in the past. And it's just, you hardly even have to look away um, from the road to do a lot of functions that you normally do every day. Now, one thing to mention too with this transmission, I'm in reverse. Now going to drive, I just pull it back. That's all I have to do. One thing too, um, the park is obviously on top. I don't need to move it. I can just push the button. But let's say I'm in drive and I'm over in my sport automatic mode. When I pull this over, it's gonna say S1. It's an automatic with attitude. That's what I call it. So it's just more a performance setting for shifting, hanging out in the gear a little bit longer. Now from here, you could push forward and do the manual. And you can see there, M1, M2. But one thing I wanted to show you about our electronic shifter here, let's go back into the sport. I'm not moving and I just turned the car off. Automatically puts it into park, even moves the shifter over for you. So something pretty cool every time I show the clients that. Great storage in the center armrest. There you can plug in your phone. Guys, one thing to mention now with the streaming Bluetooth with apps, music, contacts, really the only reason you're going to have to plug in your phone um, is really just to charge it. Pretty much all the other advanced settings and stuff that we have and dealing with your music apps and all that kind of great stuff really is just all Bluetooth. So... Most of the cool stuff you're going to deal with with your phone. We even have an app you can download, so that way you can, um, you know, even find your car, make sure it's locked. There's different features to it. So, and our app store is going to be getting even better here because we do have, with the navigation system, you'll have online services included for three years with these new cars. Um, so it's nice. And what we'll do is we just go quick to menu, connected drive. And then you would go down here, let's see, where are we, BMW Online. So online services like Yelp, uh, Live News, Gas Prices, and we'll have more and more apps coming out um, to be able to, and, uh, to go through there and go through with the car instead of using your phone or your data through your phone. Let's go ahead and open this back up. We'll put the key back in here. Cool. Let me give you some more shots on the outside.